morning everyone welcome back to the channel welcome to a new day uh, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video I really appreciate your support and I am in the truck right now as you can see I'm at Piggly Wiggly I already went in and came out so I was looking for something that Glenn hasn't had in years that he used to have during Christmas time and it's called silts jellied silts it's spelled s-u-l-z-e and uh yeah when we called here the other day they said they had it but then i went in to look for it and they didn't have it but they did have something else he was looking for so i got one of the two um and i'll show you that when i get home but they did not have the sills uh but they did have the jellied pot roast beef loaf so we'll see if that tastes the same for him uh the brand he remembers is Usinger's, and i believe they're out of milwaukee so yeah i just picked up some lunch meat lettuce tomato um yeah nothing much so there's one more store i think i can call to see if they have the jellied sills and that might be meyer so i'll give them a call see if they have it and uh yeah, in the past years, we haven't been able to get it or find it or anything. So it just tells you how much times have changed over the years um, with all the good stuff, good foods and desserts and cookies and things like that from the past years just, just disappearing off the shelves. So, and what else is disappearing is just common friendliness, especially during Christmas time. You know, I, I walked around the store, everybody just had a grouchy look on their face. And um, when I picked up the lunch meat from the deli, and during Christmas, I always make sure I say Merry Christmas to those that, you know, serve customers and wherever I go. Because as I watch, people don't say it anymore. People just don't wish folks a Merry Christmas that are... You know behind those cash registers and that's a, a thankless job really when you have to deal with people all day long you know some people are rude and but I always make sure I say Merry Christmas and and so yeah it's don't forget to wish people a Merry Christmas you just don't know what kind of day they're having and that just might brighten up their day so all right, I'm going to head home now. We're going to eat lunch. It's 12.57 in the afternoon. It's Tuesday, uh, December 20th, <laughs> and it's bright and sunny. It's 23 degrees with a real feel of 10, and we are expecting snow for the rest of the week starting tomorrow. So let's see how much we get. Gypsy loves the snow, so if we get a, a lot, she's going to be in heaven. So... All right, I'm going to head home, and I'll see you there. All right, everyone, so I am home now, and we're about to eat lunch. And I just wanted to show you what I was able to find that Glenn wanted. Let me know if you know what this is. Uh, Glenn says if you're in your 60s at least, you probably would know what this is. Um, but this is Usinger's, that's the brand name, Jellied Pot Roast Beef Loaf. And this is just a six ounce pack and I'm sure it's changed from what he recognized or knows it to be but this is what it looks like so he'll probably have some of that later on on regular bread that's what he used to eat it on but that's what it is we weren't able to like I said we we're not able to find the sills but I am gonna call Meyer and see if they carry it if not um, he has this and then I also bought some uh, deli lunch meat. And I'll show you that when I'm making the sandwiches. Okay, so I just toasted in the oven with some butter on it. Some rolls for Glenn. Uh, he likes to have his sandwiches on rolls. And to show you uh, the different deli meats that we picked up. This is... Uh, called tavern ham and the brand they use at piggly wiggly is boar's head so this is called tavern ham <laughs> tavern ham it's a little dry but it doesn't have a bad taste at all so and i only picked up a quarter pound of each deli meat 
um, because they are expensive. So, and we don't go through the deli meat that fast, so we only get a little bit at a time, and that way we can get a couple different ones. So this is his ham. I'm gonna probably put pepper on that, and all that uh, <laughs> you hear in the background is Gypsy and Blackie. Gypsy is taunting Blackie. And the other deli ham uh, or deli meat he got was this uh, olive loaf, also from Boar's Ham, uh, Boar's, Boar's Head. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put that on there. I could probably even fold it. And that is pretty full of olive. When you buy a pack of Oscar Mayer olive loaf, you hardly get anything in it. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, children will play. All right, so a quarter pound basically gives you about four slices. And so that's what I'm going to do there. I'm going to put some salt on his, uh, or pepper on his ham. And then that's what Glenn's going to have for lunch. And then I'll bring mine out right away. Okay, so there's Glenn's lunch for today. Uh, got some pepper on his ham, the olive loaf. These uh, rolls toasted in the oven with butter. They look delicious and they smell good. I think I'm going to toast myself one just to have just like that along with my sandwich. So, all right, I'm going to get Glenn his lunch and then I'll be back for mine. All right, everyone. So here is my lunch. This is honey maple turkey. And I'm just using uh, white bread and I toasted a roll with some butter for myself. And that's what I'm going to have for lunch. So. All right, everyone, so it is time to get supper going, and I have my oven preheated to 350, and I am just making a casserole, a ground beef casserole, if you want to call it that. Uh, we just call it a casserole. So I've got one pound of ground beef all just like tore up into pieces here, and I've already cut up everything, onions and potatoes, that way I can just throw it in in the video. So <laughs> I've got uh, one finely chopped onion, so I'm just going to... Put that all over the ground beef. I'm just going to salt and pepper the onions and ground beef. And oh, <coughs> there goes the pepper again. Oh. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and throw some potatoes in that I sliced up. I am using the 9 by 13 casserole dish. <coughs> oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably could have done a little less potatoes, but we like potatoes in ours. We like to have those potatoes. Okay, so now I'm going to add on top of the potatoes. Actually, I'm going to salt and pepper the potatoes a little bit. All right, and oh, <laughs> I always do that. I go to show you in the camera and I tilt it, but I forget I already have it open. So <laughs> I have a can of uh, Bush's chili beans, and these are spicy chili beans. I was using uh, Great Value chili beans, but apparently I'm out. So I got to get some back in the pantry. And then I'm just going to put in a can of tomato soup. <laughs> I'm doing good today. <laughs> you know, that was my notification bell. You know, I was just watching the last video where I did this meal and the notification bell went off in that video as well. So, 
All right, and that's all there is to it. That's all there is to the casserole. I'm going to cover it for uh, 30 minutes. It, it cooked or it baked for an hour and a half last time. So I'm going to cover it for 30, take it off for the remaining hour. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully it should be done by then. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cover it. And then I'll probably check it. Uh, I guess when I take off the cover. <laughs> so stay tuned. All right, everyone. So um, while we're waiting for supper to finish up in the oven, I just wanted to share some friend mail that I received. And I was uh, very happy to receive these cards. And thank you all so much for sending Glenn and I a card and, and including our fur babies. So thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And I'll just start off with these two that are laying down because they are post more like postcards. They're not like open cards. But these are from Kendra. They're, thank you, Kendra. I love these cards. They're just like old fashioned. And that's what we love. So thank you so much, Kendra. And then this one is a old fashioned uh, Christmas picture. This is from, I'll just go by the YouTube name, uh, Sadie Mae Castellano, I believe. That's how you pronounce it. Uh, forgive me if I didn't pronounce it correct. But yeah, that's, uh, I'll try to, most of them are YouTube names, but um, this one I'll just stick with the YouTube name. Thank you, Sadie Mae. And then this one is from Barb. Thank you so much, Barb. That's a beautiful card. And this one. Another beautiful card, Silent Night. This one is from Chris. Thank you so much, Chris. And this one is from Dorothy. Thank you so much, Dorothy. And this here is a birthday card from Donna. Thank you, Donna. And we received all these cards. I already went over the first card. And so since then, we've received all these cards. So thank you all so much for thinking of us and sending us Christmas cards. And I have one more friend piece of friend mail to share. Okay, so the other uh, friend mail I have to share is this. I received this in the mail today, and it's a set of three taco plates. And as you know, I make tacos quite often. And... Yeah, this will definitely come in handy because I always hold all three tacos at one time and pour the meat in and <laughs> with hopes I'm not going to get burned. <laughs> and then when I'm putting the condiments in, they're, they're always falling over and all the condiments fall out. So this is a set of three taco plates that I received. There's a red one and this kind of a mustard colored and the green one. And this holds... A uh, spot for five tacos and then two spots. Let me get one that's not so uh, glary. I don't know if you can see that. Two spots for like rice and beans or any other condiments you might like to put in there. So thank you so much. This came from Linda F. And Linda had mentioned she needed a taco tray. And then when she ordered hers, she ordered me, me one. So um, <laughs> yeah, I was quite surprised to get this. Um, there was no note or who it was from, but I kind of had a feeling it was from Linda. So Linda, thank you so much uh, for thinking of me. So I'm, I'm actually excited to use these. <laughs> so that will be so much better um, than holding the tacos. So yeah, excited to use those. So thank you everyone for thinking of Glenn and I. We really appreciate that you think of us. And we love the cards, so thank you. And I hope you're all having a, a wonderful Christmas week, uh, time with your family. And if you're not with family, uh, just try to make the best of what it is. So, all right. So I'm going to put these away. I'm going to go ahead and wash these. So next time we have tacos, those will be ready to go. And, oh, I also wanted to mention a Q&A video. So, so I think I do have done one once a year at least. And in that year, we get a lot of new viewers and subscribers. So I'd like to do another updated Q&A video. So if you'd like to ask me or me and Glenn questions or just Glenn 
um, go ahead and start asking your questions in the comments and I'll start taking them and writing them down. Uh, there was one question that was asked uh, how Glenn and I met. And I briefly answered that, but I thought I'd save the background story for the Q&A video. Many of you who have been following since the beginning or even just a long time already know the story. But again, remember, there's new viewers. So if you have questions for us, go ahead and jot your questions in the comments. I'll pick them out, write them down. Well, I'll pick all of them out. <laughs> I didn't mean to sound like I'll just pick certain questions out. I'll pick all of them out of the comments and write them down. And then I'm not sure what date I'll do the Q&A video. All right. So, yeah, we're just still waiting for supper. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.